Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing another Give It A Go series. actually here at Wenlo RDA and today we're going to be giving carriage driving a go. I'm here with Dawn who owns this site and is the chairman for the East Midlands RDA um, and she's going to be talking to us today about what she does here um, and introducing me to some horses that we're going to be carriage driving. Um, the Wenlo group has been going since 1990. Um, we do riding, we're a showing group, an endurance group because since we've moved here um, Four, year, four years ago, we've actually put a track in around the farm, so it's an all-purpose weather track, hopefully, <laughs> see what the weather's like this winter. <laughs> we'll find and, out. Uh, yeah, and uh, so we can take the people out and they do sensory out, outside as well. And last year, after we came back from COVID, we found that there was quite a few people who couldn't ride again mm. due to the fact that they've actually not done any physio for over two years and their, their disabilities had, had sort of progressed. So we decided we were going to do some carriage driving. So we have people carriage driving that have never ridden mm -hmm. now. Um, we carriage drive every Tuesday morning. We've got a team of four coaches that carriage drive and a team of grooms that help us. Um, but we never say no to more helpers. Brilliant. And I'll put all the links in the description box below so you can find out more about the RDA in general, but also how you can help people like Dawn at the centres and volunteer yourself. So now we're going to kind of like get involved um, and start seeing if I've got what it takes to carriage drive. So for anyone who isn't familiar with the amazing work that the RDA does or what the RDA are, they are the Riding for the Disabled Association. They're a registered charity and they work with disabled children and adults with horses to basically give them some life changing experiences. They offer everything from therapy sessions with horses on the ground, to ridden lessons, to amazing different disciplines such as the carriage driving that we are going to do today. Carriage driving in particular is really important and a big part of what the RDA do because it allows those in a wheelchair or who aren't able bodied enough to ride to take part in things like the carriage driving and like the national champs which I filmed earlier on this year. This is our first horse of the day. This is Woody. And Woody's going to teach me how to hold the reins, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> so you're going to hold the reins in your left hand. Left hand. Through the feet, this one, three fingers. This one, you're going to curl your fingers over the reins. In your right hand, you're going to put middle finger through. And we're going to turn him to the left. Oh, gosh. <laughs> And we're going to turn him to the right. So, like that in between those two. Yeah. Do they, do they come round? So if you want to turn him to the left. Oh, yes. That's, that's your brakes. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. I've got that bit, the pull bit. The <laughs> yeah. So if you want to turn him to the left, turn your hand over. Ah, okay. And then to the right, you turn your hand over. So it's That's more of a twist, difficult. isn't it? Yeah. You need this hand through the reins. Like that. So then you can help, particularly with your right turn, you can help by just pulling that up. Right, okay. okay. So that way for right, that way, that way for left. You, you don't need to let go. <laughs> you don't let go. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's the right, isn't it? That's yeah. Harder. Right. So. And then if you just want him to hold, you just gently bring his back, bring it back. Yep. All right. So this is the horse we're going to be using today. This is the lovely Rocky. You might actually remember him from the RDA National Championship because he was there carriage driving. Um, and he's going to show me the ropes today. So we're just going to pop his carriage gear on him and the ladies are going to go through what everything is and how it works for us. This is the breast collar. Okay. This is the part that pulls the carriage. Okay. Okay. We put it on first because it's unlucky not to. All right. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Ah. Oh, don't want to be doing that. No. <laughs> really, we put it on first because if the horses wear a full collar, mm. you can't get anything else on the bridle or anything on the top. Right. So that's the reason. Okay. So that just goes on the front, does it? It does. It does. Over his head. Okay. Good boy. So, that is sitting on the point of his shoulder, mm -hmm. but not affecting his windpipe. Yeah. Pad or the saddle? Both. Yeah. Okay, do you want to pick it up? Yeah. It gets the breaching as well, which is the okay. other bit there. That section. All of that. Oh, gosh, all so, of it. And if you put that in, <laughs> hold it, and don't fall over all the straps. Oh, gosh. Okay, if you come to this side. Yeah. Okay, so and I'll just... hold that for you. If you put that over his back. Why? Okay, slightly further back than a normal riding saddle. Yep. Okay, so about there. Just behind the wither. And that goes onto his quarters and round his bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can do his girth up, okay. making sure that it's comfy on both sides. Not quite as tight as you've had a riding saddle. Okay. So because obviously nobody is going to be sitting <laughs> on it and pulling it about. Now the cropper. Cropper. There you go. Okay. So if you lift his tail right up out of the way mm -hmm. and make sure no hairs are being caught here. And pop around. it underneath. And then do him up. Okay, so just check that there's nothing... Nothing caught. Cool. Yeah, otherwise it will be uncomfortable for him. Right, the traces are already on this harness. Yep. So you can undo them and pop them into the trace carrier, which is there. Right, so you go back like that and yep. then... Through there. Yep, through that's, that. a, that's called the trace carrier. Trace carrier, okay. Same on the other side. Do you want that back or yeah. just let it you can go in there? Bottom end. Yeah. It's a lot more complicated than a normal saddle, isn't it? <laughs> Let's just pop it into there so that it holds it up out of the way. Yeah, just put it on it and then leave it. That's fine. Good, that's fine. Good boy. Okay, the reins next, mm -hmm. which are obviously those. Yep. And the next one. Yep. Okay. If you put this one yep. back onto that turret. Okay like that when you put it through yeah and then we know which one's which okay that's it stand that's the word that looks stand. more something i know what i'm dealing with <laughs> okay this side again rather than take the reins out of your hand oh, okay good boy oh you literally do it yourself are you a clever boy? So underneath the brow band, not over underneath. the top. Good boy. Curve do chain. all carriage horses have blinkers on or? Not all of them. Some people do drive without blinkers, um, but RDA I think, I believe, RDA don't suggest we can have no blinkers, do they? Anybody? No. They don't suggest, RDA don't say we can drive with no blinkers, do they? No. So it's, it's safety. Yeah. Uh, curb chain. So just go on the first one. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Rocky. 
So now that Rocky is all tacked up and ready to go, I'm going to go and pop my hat and gloves on and then the first thing we're going to do is some long graining using the one handed method that I was taught earlier for how to steer. I'll show you how to hold the whip. Okay. There's lots to hold, isn't there? <laughs> Sam's acting as our obstacle today. So once I got hang of the one-handed steering and I knew we weren't going to be heading into any bushes or walls, it was time to put the carriage onto Rocky. So this is the exciting part and the guys are going to talk me through how to do this. Now obviously they have to let him know that the carriage is coming because he's wearing blinkers and can't see it but Rocky is 19 years old and they reckon he's actually been driving from quite a young age because of the home he came from. Um, so he is an absolute pro at this. <laughs> Tracy. Twist and four. Right, okay, so it's got like its own automatic brake side thing. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm going to twist this side. Oh, that's mine as well. Hold that for you. Just so I know who's got what. <laughs> well, Perfect. You always, always come forward. Right, okay. Oh, thank you. No turning forwards or backwards. There's your reins. Mm -hmm. like As before. Yeah. Perfect. Good boy. You have to just remember how long we are. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, walk on. Good boy. Comfortable? Yeah. Very comfortable. Right, do you want to take over some steering? Yeah, I can do. So, remind me which way is left and which way is right again. So, left, right, right, left, left. Yeah. That's it, good flow. Come on. Good boy. Perfect. Wouldn't get on that now. <laughs> it's my job to just try and run something. <laughs> Although, I don't feel like, I don't know, it's not, as scary as I thought it was going to be. Oh, wow, it's scary. It's just really different, isn't it? Yeah. The only control is your hand. Yeah. Really. It's the one-handedness. I don't know what to do with this hand. Well, you would. Normally have the whip. Yeah. But you just literally hold it mm -hmm. so it comes across the body. 
kukaan ja good boy. So I actually quite quickly picked up the carriage driving and it is actually so much fun. Um, you still get the thrill of that you get with riding and the learning new things. It was really great to have a go. So I've done it in the outdoor arena um, and soon we'll be putting my driving skills to the test as we head to the obstacles. Now obstacles are a big part of carriage driving. So at the RDA National Champs, I actually filmed the obstacle challenge where the riders go through cones with tennis balls on the top and the idea is to get through the obstacles as quickly as possible without knocking any of the balls off and you get penalty points for knocking the tennis balls off. Now they did a lot more obstacles than I'm going to be doing today but this just shows you the sort of level I'm aiming for. So out on the grass we have a track set up for us of cone obstacles um, that we're going to be weaving in and out of. Now Wenlo RDA is incredible, they actually have a full outdoor track that we'll also be going around later so that the riders that don't want to possibly steer or anything can literally sit in the carriage and enjoy a ride round which is really sensory and you know an amazing experience so I'm looking forward to that after. And I have made it a bit wider. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> Just to make it a bit easier. So if you go, if you steer right, okay. through this blue one. Yeah. And keep him going and through the yellow one. That's it. Just adjust as you need to. So you can just see where your wheels are. We need to come over a little bit. <laughs> That's it. We'll go round the back of the cameraman. Yeah, it does help. Yeah, we won't knock him over. Well, so stop. If you do a left now, and we'll go between the cones and this. Yeah. Go right all the way right. All the way around. Right. Right. Else yeah. if I know where I'm planning on going. Oh, sorry, I should have explained. <laughs> right, so all the way right and give yourself plenty of room. Don't come too forward. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> basically, most driving pain is just trot. Yeah. Go right to the top. And they, you know, they just get into that trotting mode and yeah. off they go. Good lad. Go left. Dead in. So it's become trotting now. Good boy. Straight through the yellow at the end. And then we'll have to get some more. <laughs> How much fun is that? That is really fun. So the cone obstacles went surprisingly well. I actually made it all the way around and it only knocked one tennis ball off the entire time. So I'm classing myself as a pro now. But no, honestly, it was so much fun. If you ever get a chance to have a go at carriage driving, please, please do it because it's an incredible experience and one that was very, very different to my expectations today. So a massive thank you for the team for teaching me. We're now going to head out around the track um, that surrounds the farm. So the biggest obstacle is actually the fact you've got a full horse in front of you and a very long carriage. So you need to remember where exactly that is. Um, it's like going from driving a car to driving a van. But Rocky is absolutely ace. So the RDA have some incredible horses. And in fact, Red Gorilla have now got involved and are sponsoring a RDA horse at the National Training Centre. That will be in an upcoming video. I'll introduce you all to Jackson, which will be very exciting. And I'm going to be spending the day volunteering at the National Training Centre. So there's a little bit of a sneak peek of what is to come. Oh, he's such a good boy. So we can get a wheelchair in. Oh, fabulous. So earlier I mentioned how carriage driving is brilliant for those who are in a wheelchair because it doesn't stop them from doing it at all. The carriages that the RDA have very specifically adapt for this purpose. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how they get a wheelchair user on and off the carriage. So as we've seen, the seats come out and the ramps come down and it's actually very simple for you to be able to get on and off. Ready and driving. Am I on track? Yep. Brakes on. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. 
So it really is as simple as being wheeled on and then secured into place so that obviously the wheelchair doesn't move. The horses here are completely used to having a wheelchair user on, all of the noise of the wheelchair going on that just doesn't phase them, which just shows the incredible training um, and patience that have been put into this. Yeah, they're so good, aren't they? Walk on, good boy, walk on. Walk on up. <laughs> and I even got to have one last spin around the outdoor and my last attempt at a bit of carriage driving. So now it's time for Rocky to have a rest so we're going to undo everything, take the carriage off and then I've got to try and remember everything that I put on and the order I put it on to take it all off because something tells me I'm going to get quizzed on it. guys that has been my go at carriage driving at the RDA with Red Gorilla a massive thank you to the RDA for having me today and for putting this on it's been an incredible experience and the work they do is so vital so please do get involved I'll put all the links in the description box below and also a massive thank you to Red Gorilla for sponsoring this video and supporting the RDA and all the amazing work they do don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next week for another video bye guys